Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. Before I get started with the reading, I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and just all of your positive feedback. If you are interested in receiving additional guidance from the weekly and monthly tarot forecast that I offer here on my channel, I do actually draw and upload every single day a daily oracle guidance card to my Instagram and Facebook pages. So if you're interested in receiving additional guidance, please head over and like me on Facebook or follow me on Instagram. If you are interested in receiving um, a private reading from me, I do actually have linked below in the description bar my my website so head over to my website and read about how I offer my private readings uh, and make sure that for these weekly tarot forecasts you are watching your sun sign your moon sign and your rising sign to get the most insight uh, some weeks you will resonate more with your sun sign other weeks you will resonate more with your rising sign or ascendant sign and then sometimes you might even resonate with all three your sun moon and rising sign so again I just want to thank you guys so very much for all of your support you guys are truly amazing thank you for all of the positive feedback your life your shares your comments I do wish you all a wonderful week stay tuned for the reading hi Leo this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of October 31st through November 6th this is for Leo Sun Leo moon and Leo rising signs at the bottom of the deck I do have temperance okay so temperance is a beautiful healing energy so for some Leo's you could actually be recovering you could be maybe healing from like a cold recovering from a cold but also emotionally healing um, temperance is also patience in moderation so all things in moderation this week there could be some Leo's that are waiting on something the overall energy is the Ace of Swords. So this is success. This is victory after going down a very long road that might have had a lot of obstacles or challenges. So for, for many Leos, I feel like this is what you're moving towards or this is what you're waiting on. This also can represent some sort of signing of, of documents. It can be legal documents that are of significance this week. Uh, the Ace of Swords also represents communication. So communication might be quite significant for you this week. But also maybe getting down to the, the truth of something, cutting to the truth of the matter for some Leos. Now, this could be with a Sagittarius because temperance represents the sign of, of Sag. Um, so this could be communication with a Sagittarius. That's quite significant. Um... And then for some other Leos, I think that you're waiting on maybe documents, you're waiting on some maybe paperwork to be signed. You could be waiting on that communication, that, that clarity, that truth, that decision for some, for some Leos. And this could be something for some of you that maybe you're obsessing about because I do have the devil here. And, you know, very rarely do you see the devil and temperance come up you know, in the same spread. But we do have the devil here, which can represent anything in excess. It can represent thinking about something too much, obsessing about it. So for some Leos, just watch that. Um, I think that for some of you, you're waiting on something. And I think that you're feeling restricted, feeling bound, feeling chained to someone, something, or just restricted in some way. Uh, because you're maybe waiting, you're left in limbo with the hanged man. I think that for some of you, you're waiting on that communication or waiting on, you know, documents to be signed. You're waiting on that maybe decision because then we also have the two of swords here. So for some Leos, you could be waiting on receiving a decision. It could be a legal decision, but not necessarily. You could be waiting on a decision. 
maybe from the company that you work for or maybe in regards to a relationship, a marriage, or, or, or a serious committed partnership, um, or even maybe from the government. You could be waiting on documents, waiting on communication. And I feel like for some of you, you need a fresh perspective. With the hanged man here, this is you maybe needing to take a step back and look at the larger picture as a whole. There could be some sort of um, enlightenment or fresh perspective that is needed. Maybe some of you need to spend some time alone and go within with the Four of Swords here. Or maybe even need to meditate. I do see some of you worrying just a little bit too much with the, with the Eight of Swords here. Oftentimes this energy is worrying unnecessarily, fearing the worst or being scared, being nervous, having a lot of anxiety. But I think that, you know, with Temperance and the Four of Swords here, I think that if you spend some time alone, maybe meditate or just, you know, go within, I think that you know, maybe you'll gain that fresh perspective and, you know, that will then ease your mind. I think you need to keep the faith. I think you need to remain positive. You need to keep the faith. And I do think that some of you are obsessing. Now, for some of you, this can be a, a money situation. This could be something legal or this could be something to do with uh, career, finances, assets. This could be a lawsuit that maybe you're waiting on a decision from. Now, for some, for some Leos, there could be a Capricorn, there could be a Taurus. I have this Earth energy here, um, so there could be a Capricorn or a Taurus that is quite significant this week. Or even an air sign energy, a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. And I feel like if you've been dealing with confusion surrounding this situation, again, I think you need to take a step back. But also, I think that if you've been dealing with confusion regarding this situation, I think that with the Ace of Swords... For some of you, you are cutting through that confusion. You are getting down to maybe the bottom of something. And I do see you charging towards, we have the Knight of Swords, literally charging towards the Hierophant here. So there could be some Leos that are charging towards a Taurus person. Or, you know, this is you maybe moving up within the company that you work for. Or moving towards maybe that resolution to something legal or something in involving important documents. You are charging towards that. This is what you're moving towards. But patience is needed. Maybe it's not going to happen this week for some of you. Maybe it's going to happen next week. Um... But this is what you're moving towards. You very much need to keep the faith. You need to remain positive. Excuse me. You need to remain positive. And for some other Leos with this Ace of Swords here and the Devil, you know, if you've been battling... You know like a negative thought pattern or an addiction or something that just was no longer serving you for some Leos this is you maybe um, seeing things differently now you could be using the sword to sever ties from that that's no longer serving you you could be freeing yourself from restrictions for some Leos for some Leos you know you could be giving someone a decision uh, this could be you communicating with someone, a decision. Uh, maybe for some Leos, if you are making a decision, you need to spend that time alone. You need to go within. You really need to listen to your intuition with making a decision. Overall, I, you know, I don't see it being a bad week whatsoever. Um, financially, I see it being a good week. Emotionally, I see you healing. There's a lot of healing energy that's around you this week. 
And, and to be honest, um, there's a lot of healing around a lot of people. A lot of the signs um, have a lot of healing energy around them this week. So I see a lot of people healing. You need to remain positive. You need to keep the faith. For some of you, you could be staying in a little bit more this week. You could be spending more time alone this week. But then I also think for those of you who have been dealing um, with some restrictions, I see you maybe coming up with a solution or maybe um, being able to, you know, free yourself from that particular situation. But maybe it's going to require you taking a step back and, and looking at things from a different perspective. But overall, I see it being a great week, Leo. Let me pull you an additional guidance card. Some additional guidance for Leo for this upcoming week. Oh, there we go. Ray, yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now. So maybe some Leos are going to be definitely maybe starting a new exercise uh, routine. This is beautiful. Um, so yoga and exercise could be very significant this week. This could be something that really benefits you. Um, but also, you know, meditation, spending that time alone, going within, uh, you know, I feel like meditation is very important for many of you. Some of you need to meditate. Um, okay, Leo. So I do hope that you found this reading helpful and I hope you have a great week. Take care.